Welcome back to my channel. Yay, I'm glad to have you here again. But today's video is all about bikinis and my favorite ones and then also cover-ups and like where I recommend or like what to wear or whatever to the beach because it's summertime and we're all going to the pool and fun stuff like that. So I'm going to start off with the bikini portion talking about my favorite ones in my collection. I'm not going to show you all of them. I think I picked out like three of them bikini tops at least that I really like and that I wanted to show you. So let's go ahead and dive in. Do you get it? Because it's like the pool and we're like diving into a pool. So as far as bikinis are concerned, I like to buy mine separate as in like the top is separate from the bottom. I honestly could care less where the bottoms are from. I could, I've bought some like this, these ones which are from H&M for a dollar at the end of like this year. Actually, I got these ones before spring break, but they're pretty awesome. Um, to me, bikini bottoms are bikini bottoms. No one really cares, you know? So, that's where I buy mine. It's cheap. H&M usually has, like, the good deals on them. Like, they could be, like, $5. Or you can go to Target. They have really good bikini bottoms. Walmart. Like, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> Look at this. I have bikini bottoms I still wear from Target. Um, they're a little bit big, but... These are from my senior year, so I just don't care. But I am a big fan of mixing and matching my bikini tops and bottoms. And I wanted to show you this one because I'm pretty sure Target still sells this style. They've had it for at least like the past three summers. I got this one, not last summer, but the summer before. And it's from the brand Morona, maybe? No, Mossimo, which is like the older brand, I guess, that they sell it. Uh, Target instead of like the exhilaration one. To me, I bought this because I was like, well, this is scandalous. I'm totally buying it. And it's just like a simple black bikini top. I prefer bandos because I am flat chested and I feel like, um, I don't know, they're really slimming on me, so that's why I purchased them. I don't really own any tri triangle bikinis anymore, but this one from Target you can still buy. I have it in another dark. I have, a, I thought I lost this before so I bought another one they were out of small so I got it in a medium so I have one of those also have this one in a coral which is really pretty too so those are probably my all-time favorite bikini top the next bikini top I have I actually purchased this a uh, year before I went on spring break um, in case you didn't know went to Panama with my friends and uh, this one is from Victoria's Secret and it's one of those ones that has like kind of padding to it and I've never had a bikini top like this before. I usually stick to the traditional like bandeau, just like simple padding. But I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, I found, I ordered them in two different sizes. I ordered it in a 32A and 34A. And the 34A was the one that ended up fitting me better, which is really weird because I'm usually a 32A. Oh, I'm really flat. Don't make fun of me. But they're really supportive. Um, and I find that they're good for even if you're just going to go swimming. So, And it even comes with like strap that you can attach. Most, most of these do come with that, but yeah, they're that really cute. My last one is from the brand Rara. Sorry, I had to look at the tag. And if you follow me on Pinterest, you probably have seen these plenty. And I love these, but as you can tell, there's no padding to it. And so, yes, this was sent to me. Please don't freak out. But I really like it, so I'm going to talk about it because I have a great idea. Um, so I got this bikini top from eBay last year. It's really gross because I've worn it quite a lot. It was $10 and it came with padding on the inside. So I took the padding out and I'm going to take it and I think I'm probably going to try to get like fabric glue or something and like put it on the inside of this so then I do have padding in it. Isn't that a brilliant idea? But yeah, so this one comes with your monogram um, app, like screen printed on top of it. So I think that's really cute and it's going to look so fun. I love bikinis. But this one says C because that's my initials. Yeah. My middle name is not Belle. People always think that. Just to clear the water since I just showed you guys that. Now moving on to my favorite type of cover-ups, I guess you would say. Um, when I was in Panama, I wore spirit jerseys, which are these like football, rugby type of jersey oversized t-shirt. Um, this one's from MarleyLily.com. I've worn this one before. It has my monogram on it. I'm sorry, I'm obsessed with my monogram. Chillax. But I have so many of these. I have probably like five of them. <laughs> I can't help it. I'll, I'll probably do like a video 
I don't know. Is that something? Is that stupid? But yeah, I really, really like these. And they like cover up your butt. So if that's a big concern of yours, oversized t-shirts are the way to go. If you are in like a sorority or something like that, just order the shirt that you would normally wear in like a size larger or a size like two sizes up because that seems to work the best for me. I just ordered like a capital to tank and I ordered it in medium because I'm usually small so then it's a little bit more loose and it covers my butt and just whatever. So. I have a PFG which is really weird because I am definitely not a fisher. When I wore this people were like do you fish? And I was like no. Like I didn't understand why because I just never around that kind of thing. I was like I bought it because it was cute. So it's this really pretty like periwinkle color. And these are just fishing shirts. They're really like lightweight and they repel water really nicely. And you can actually get these monogrammed too. Saw them online. Um, and they're just, I don't know. I should have got it in a size small. I got an extra small so it fits a little oversized but not too oversized. Um, my next one I probably will purchase in a small or medium so then it can, you know, be worn more as a cover up. And then the last one is a little bit more fancy. And this is my new obsession. It is my sail disabled tunic, which I love this color. This one is the Palm Beach Lately um, collab dress tunic thing. I actually just got this one and it's super fabulous. Like it's a really pretty coral melon color with, okay, I'm going to put this in nail polish terms. SC Vandigo, SC Mint Candy Apple. Am I right or am I right? So, I don't know. These ones are really nice. They're nice linen. I have one that I wear as a dress most of the time. Like, I've worn it twice already and I'm going to probably wear it on 4th of July. And it's like a navy blue roping one that you saw probably in my meetup video. But then this one is a little bit shorter. So this one is more of like a cover up and it's um, linen as well. So, I really like these. These ones are a little bit more expensive than the other things I've shown you. Hey. So that wraps up my favorite bikinis in the cover up kind of thing. Um, if you'd like to see like a what's in my beach bag or what's in my pool pet, what's in my pool bag, spring, summer, break essentials, something like that, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!